No one has to pay for Google Chat, whether you're inside or outside of the Google Workspace account. You don't have to pay for those guests to be a part of it. You really only have to pay for the business account that owns the chat rooms. Do I have to pay to download Google Chat? And I wanted to answer this question because I thought this one was really important. Google Chat itself is free, but there are a couple of restrictions to be able to access Google Chat. Now, this is applicable if you're a small business owner and maybe you wanna use Google Chat to chat to someone who's outside your business, whether they are a colleague or a contractor or a supplier or a vendor, or maybe just someone that you're in business with but are not inside your business and therefore they don't have an issued Google Workspace account for your actual company. Now, Google Chat is a free tool, but you do have to have a Google account of some sort to be able to access Google Chat. So that means that it either needs to be a Gmail consumer account, or it needs to be a Google Workspace business account. Either one of those may have an at gmail.com address or an at any domain you like .com address. The challenge is if you wanna add someone to Google Chat, if you're sure that someone has either a Workspace account or you know it's pretty obvious that they're using a Gmail account and you wanna add them to your Google Chat, it's pretty straightforward. You go to the chat window, you open up the plus sign, and from there you can add any user. I'll show you what that looks like. So from here, we can click the plus button to start a chat and you can enter somebody's email in there. Now, let's say if I go and add an email, let's say peter at peter.tv, which I don't think exists, You'll see here when I try and add that, oh, seems like it does exist. Okay, cool. Let's try another one. Must have been set up as an actual alias of some sort. Well, let's say peter at peternottv.com. Okay, you'll see here that it says no results and it just doesn't let me add that person at all. So unfortunately, no way to add someone who doesn't have a registered Google account and it should throw an error to you if that is the case. No one has to pay for Google Chat, whether you're inside or outside of the Google Workspace account. Think of it like Slack. If you're the owner of the business and you wanna invite some guests from outside the business, you don't have to pay for those guests to be a part of it. You really only have to pay for the business account that owns the chat rooms. That said, if you're creating chat rooms between different colleagues and they're about your business, you wanna be the one that creates the chat room. Remember, the people who actually create the chat rooms are the owner of those chat rooms. And so when you're the owner of a chat room, you are the one who holds all of the data. So if someone wants to search for chat histories, if someone wants to delete a chat, if someone wants to remove people from a chat, if someone wants to set restrictions, well, that's best done by the owner of the room and it's best to keep that ownership under your business. If you still have questions on this topic, drop them down below in the comments.